I'm Aileen, welcome to my kitchen, and today I am cooking Piggy's birthday supper. And we are having fried squash and okra mix and steak bites. Fresh steak bites, fried squash and okra mix. And I'm going to season these. And this is going to be a pretty short video, y'all, because I'm not going to go through a whole lot of detail on it. I have cut up two squash and quite a bit of okra. I mean, it, about half a mess of okra. And I'm going to mix them together. And what I'm going to do, this just showing you what I'm doing, is I'm going to add a little bit of self rising meal. That's about a third of a cup. I'm just going to put that over the top of that. And to that, I'm going to add black pepper to taste. We like black pepper and salt in our fried okra and fried squash. And yes, I know, normally people fry them separate, but I like them fried together. I got a little bit of salt there. Alright, what I'm going to do. This is why I put it in the plastic bowl, y'all, so I can put a lid on it. Let me shake, shake, shake. And that allows all that meal and salt and pepper to get down in between the squash and the okra. And it separates out those squash squash slices very nicely when you do that. And if you don't have a bowl with a lid like this, you can always use a Ziploc baggie, a gallon baggie. All right, and in this right here, I have uh, one steak. It's uh, the butterfly steak like I fixed uh, for uh, Jason at uh, All Train Coffee uh, when I did his uh, signature dish. And yes, that steak has been there for about two months because we don't eat a lot. And when I do fix stuff to eat like that, you know, it just, it, it's one of those things to where we, we have leftovers, you know, things like that. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to add a little bit of piggies to the rub. And we know we got to have some rub. Like I said, I'm just going to saute the steak uh, so that uh, it's a nice medium. All right. Yeah, you can tell it's humid because my seasoning is wanting to stick together. I'm going to put a little bit more piece of rub on there. It don't take a great lot, but I like the idea of coating it. And I'm going to put a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Well whatever you call it. Now I'm just going to douse a little bit of that. And because there is salt in the rub, I'm not going to worry about salting it or peppering it. This is all I'm going to do for the steak. Like I said, this isn't going to be a very long video because this is for our supper, and we're celebrating his birthday. I just want to share a little bit of what we're having. And this is what it looks like. I'll wash my hands before I saute it off. And then I'm going to put this in my skillet over on my other hot uh, hot plate, or induction top, whatever you want to call it, thing, cook top, and cook it. So probably what I'll do is I'll start with the vegetables first, because it'll take a little longer for this to cook than it will for the steak. And I'm just going to let the steak sit and absorb those flavors. So, I will see you when I come back after this is done and we do a taste test. All right, y'all. This is the squash and okra. This is the steak I cooked. And this is Piggy supper tonight for his birthday. Uh, I know I didn't show you the cooking process, but this is just to let you know what Piggy's getting for his birthday and that I did cook for him. Uh-huh. I will do a taste test. See how it turned out. Hopefully, I don't poison him. There's a steak. After 10 years, I ain't been done yet. It's got a good flavor. Again, I just use, excuse me, Piggy's to rub and some Worcestershire sauce. And uh, just kind of keep it simple tonight. And let's see. 
the okra and the squash. Oh, this is my all-time favorite. I hadn't had okra and squash in a while, so I'm looking forward to this one. Mm-hmm. Mm. I cooked the squash and okra and a little bit of vegetable, and it was mixed with some bacon grease. Just a good little flavor. I did salt, pepper, and meal, as you saw. So, this is supper. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Where about more?